again. That's great. Okay, so what did we do here and what... Uh, so yeah, I said that we want to add here uh, like a handle. Let me just look at the pure ref. So we need like a handle like this one. This one was a bit more abstract, was cooler, but that's fine. And maybe we can add here something uh, round, you know, something like, like in this one, like this one has here. Okay, so just it's good to have pure ref. You just drag and drop um, all your reference images there. Sorry to interrupt. Will we get the time to render them in this live stream or is for the next weeks? Well, uh, you can always request rendering. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do rendering, but not not in this one. You know, just lo do, doing lights uh, and setup. But but these are for game engine, so because it's for game engine, we w well you can render them in Maya. I mean here. But because they're they're for game engine, therefore you know game assets, you just import them to the game engine, you know, texture them before and uh, render them there, basically. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's just the modeling tools. That's that's pretty much most of them here. You can find them in modeling toolkit, and you have all these extrude. We used a lot of extrude. To bring things, you know, in and out. Uh, common, common mistakes by people. Let's take this cube, and uh, you take the cube and you extrude it. Yeah, and you say, "Hey, what's happening? Uh, my cube is black now. What, what happened?" Uh, the thing is that with extruding, when you extrude an object, Maya is going to try to give it thickness. So, again, let's just make another cube, right? R, W to move, R to scale. So if we extrude it, right now our cube on the inside is black. It has only um, one face. So basically these are the faces that are gonna be seen in a game engine. But if you go inside, it's black. Not because my environment is black. If I change my environment to like this, my, my ins the inside of my cube is still black. And that is something called normals is uh, indicating how and where the light is going to hit on the surface of of the you know the 3d asset okay so if we extrude the object now and we give it thickness and we go to object mode you'll see now i will have a double cube actually now i have a cube on the outside and a cube on the inside okay so it basically it gave thickness to it so remember when you are extruding most of the times you need to extrude a face yeah 99 percent of the, the time you will have to extrude a face 99.9 .9 actually uh, or if you just select a plane r scale it w move it yeah so i'm just gonna and then shift right click extruded you see we have thickness yeah it gave some thickness to our to our plane okay let's just go back here so now we it's time to add another object here and it's going to be a cylinder so i deselect everything shift right click cylinder plus w and if I go here to channel or to attribute editor, I can change my subdivisions. Something like 12. Uh, rotate it holding J, and J is going to snap to 50 degrees angle. Uh, 50 degrees. Uh, if you look here, double click on this the rotation and it says here step snap 15 yeah so if 
once I press J see it's gonna enable I press J on and off it's gonna enable this and we can change this to 45 actually let me change it to 45 because I like 45 more and go back to off okay so now if I press J look it's gonna go 45 degrees angle snap that's J from James or Jane. And it's gonna scale this a bit. Okay. Control one. Uh, so I select everything, all the faces, and I use control to deselect the middle ones and delete. So what I did, I deleted the end, uh, the ends. So right now. I use control one yeah to go back and forth uh, so control one again is isolate select control one you see and now I just want to give it some I'm going to use the multi cut and with control so again multi cut is a very shift right click multi cut and you use control and it's going to create an edge loop here like that or if you want to be really precise I can use control and shift control and shift and that's gonna go in the middle so if I double click on this one I have a snap step and I'm gonna put it to 50 and close so control Z again I this is the, the multi cut tool option and if I double click on it you see there's a snap step 50 close it I use control shift and now no matter where I go it's gonna go dead in the middle now if I double click on these edges and I bevel them I now I can precisely put them and I have the same distance here and here yeah so you see what I did it's kind of trick uh, and then I select these faces all around using shift and double click shift and double click on the next one shift right click extrude face and bring it outside like that okay go to object mode and it's kind of okay I think I might have to bend this a little bit or To make it like more comfortable, you know. Just gonna bevel this. Right click object, object mode. Control one to isolate them both. Okay, so let's just introduce a new tool. So if I go shift right or just right click edge select the edges and then shift right click connect components um, actually it wasn't connect components it was connect tool so shift right click connect tool and middle mouse click and drag to the right and to the left it's going to add edges once it's complete press enter and we can select the middle one now if I want to inflate this to make it you know bigger fatter I can select it press B and it says soft select mode is on tap B to turn it off so on and off B so pressing B and holding B and middle mouse button holding and dragging to the right and left I think it's good to write these down yeah and um, just write them down yeah, take out your technical notebooks. Technical notebooks. Yeah, I, th I think. First today. Yeah, yeah, they need to get them. Uh, so I think I don't know where we can uh, arrange a day. When you guys uh, from from the first year are off, I need to give you the technical notebooks and uh, the starting kit. Uh, the kit. <coughs> uh, Is what's inside the kit a surprise or? Do they know about it already? No, I don't think they know. No, nobody knows. 
<clears throat> okay, so what I did, I'm gonna go back because I uh, start, I, no, I moved fast, too fast. So uh, I selected these, I press B, hold B and middle mouse to the right. Uh, and this is the in influence. So this is the hottest, this is the coldest. I use R and I use these two. If you wanna scale them like this, it's fine. Or like this, it's fine. But you can scale both of them in the same time like this. Okay, and then I can use this one to scale like this. Okay, and I just make it a bit fatter. And I can select these edges, hold B again, uh, press B again to remove. And I select all these edges. Actually, I can select them like that. Shift right click, soften, soften, right? So, yeah, about that, sometimes, for example, you have an edge, and sometimes that edge might be soft, yeah? And it looks like weird. You see, it looks kind of, hey, what's going on here? You know? So you select it. Or you either select the face. Uh, I think it's not working with the face. You need to go to edges. Yeah, so you just select the edges. And shift right click, soften, soften slash harden, and go to harden. Okay, that's gonna make them hard. In the same way we can do with this, control one, select the edges all around. And shift right click soften edge that's gonna make them soft we're gonna do something like uh, called baking but that's gonna be um, down the road so we're just gonna okay so le let me just um, we I said we want to make something circular here here in the middle control one so let me bring a cylinder and I can use uh, the boolean technique I use W and E and hold J to snap R to scale so that is one way of just using this boolean tool pressing 4 to see how deep it's got inside that is one or just pressing or um, sorry 6 Control one. <clears throat> By the way, you know the new um, second year lecturer who worked on Avengers? Yeah, yeah. He said he's going to be joining us in these sessions. Oh, that's nice. So next week. Yeah, that's really nice of him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think too bad we don't have many, many people, you know, like we just have a few people here and you know it's too bad for them okay so I set a minus B so click on a and shift click on B shift right click then and booleans and difference right so that's one way and then we need to fix all these edges that that's like a two big end guns here yeah just need to kind of draw lines from here to here oh let me go back control z a couple of times uh, and yeah. control one and we need to extrude these two so offset then select the vertices here and we're just gonna chamfer them so um, shift right click chamfer vertex can I add more divisions no, it doesn't let me it doesn't let me more and we can chamfer these again Then with these two, we can click on uh, 
something was here circularized okay and that's it we made a circular inside the square just by extruding ones and using chamfer vertex yeah, so we select the vertices chamfer and then we selected the faces and use the circularize this one modeling target weld and now we just need to fix this I'm just gonna click on an empty space to deselect everything now control Z to go back and I think this is slightly faster than the other one take these two, we extrude it and we extrude it one more time and we give it an offset we extrude it one more time we bring it forward then we select the uh, edges all around so you see there's a problem now because with these edges kind of hard to select all around so we select the faces then we uh, use control right click to edge parameter and that selected the edges all around those faces so this is a uh, quite a nifty trick not many people know about this shift right click and bevel the edge because I wanted to make this uh, slightly beveled great so that's getting looking starting to look better our box here if I press 3 on on the box it's gonna subdivide it but it looks so ugly uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to select these faces because these are big end guns and shift right click poke okay and that's gonna match them and it's gonna if I press 3 again and after this we're going to we're going to give this asset to Michael and Michael is going to sculpt it and we're going to make some edge wear on on the and he can do some talking as well <laughs> In, in case you got bored of my voice and you know so good mate okay so let's see what 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 do you guys think we should do to the box because i think we still you know still kind of need some stuff here i don't know what but just gonna bevel these Lucian, I have a question, if I may. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you copy the handle from one side to the other? You just do okay. something like Control C, Control V. Let's see, Control C, Control V. Excuse me. Control C. Oh, I think Control. Control C. Is it Control C close? <laughs> hmm. I never use control C. Let me save the scene first. Because I think the control C might close. So I use control double control D from duplicate. So control D, that is one. Yeah. I believe. Great. Uh, press F, control one. Uh, I need to delete these faces because they're they're not required. The, that, the, that side of the mesh is never going to be seen so I don't need um, I don't need that okay so or there's another way because our mesh if I enable the grid here uh, because this handle right now my mesh has I started making my mesh 
in the x y z zero right so th what it means is this is on the x side of the grid this is the x yeah so if you look at this line i'm going to hide these two h so that's x y z zero that's the zero 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 coordinate okay so here on here I, I i think we covered this we have the x and on the other side is minus x control shift h to bring back last hidden uh, and if i mirror this guy on the x towards minus it's gonna be right where it should be because i know that the distance between this one and this one is the same to point zero if that makes sense so when i make my box it's completely symmetrical okay so let me just shift right click mirror on the x towards minus okay and it's done it is perfectly control one go out press q to go out uh, i'm going to delete the history so basically all this if you go to channel box you have a lot of inputs and if you remember we did the mirror and that's the last thing we did and i'm going to delete the history so alt shift d and that's deleted that all that history I select this one alt shift d as well deleting history is useful sometimes it might cause crashes and stuff like that so you probably you don't want um you don't want to have that too much you know you don't want to have uh, much that of that history so target weld go to vertex and i'm gonna fix this hanging ver vertex vertices that are just sitting in the air okay so doing it with uh duplicate doesn't make it symmetrical right well it can be but you need to fiddle and get it right you know i mean yeah, yeah. if i just let me just select the faces delete okay so right now i know that this guy I translated on the x-axis 32.061 and if I copy this value control D move it actually the, I need to center my pivot so just give me a second let me center the pivot this is center pivot and the center pivot is just going to move it there and yeah this makes sense because here's 32, here's 96. Um, but you just need to manually, you know, get it in the right position. Most of the times it's not going to be a problem, but I like to, you know, work perfect. Like, I, I, I want to... I get it, I get it. Yeah. So, uh, in order to mirror it, do you have to have the whole mesh selected? No, no, it's just select the part that you want to mirror. So this one, you go to object mode, shift right click, and I mirror on the X and it's using the axis positions of the world right yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's say hey I have an object I'm gonna control D duplicate my box and I'm gonna move it off the center so it's no longer gonna be XYZ zero coordinate no it's not gonna be here yeah it's not gonna be there so it's gonna be somewhere here let's say yeah that's perfect so it's gonna be here let's say hey I want to mirror my box on the Z axis yeah so let's try and mirror that one mirror on the Z and I, I, I need to change this axis position from the world to my object actually yeah I'm gonna control one to isolate that selection and let's just try m minus what's happening okay so you see I changed this axis position from world to object and because the pivot was in the center of the object which is this um, it worked fine well I get I'm get we're getting some artifacts here I don't know what's up with these but just delete them can be fixed now by just by 
fill the hole. Hmm? No, it doesn't work. Anyway, but you, I think you got the idea. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. So let's see what we can do more. We can. We can actually use this multi cut, and we're gonna do a pattern here, like a cut deep inside. Maybe. to close here I'm just gonna close it here and then is anyone else working alongside us no I think it's good if they just take note um, you know notes mm -hmm. what's my video not work? like no oh yeah I see it your camera is not working but your video might work I think my phone might have just run out of battery yep <laughs> jeez it was So great! It looks like a, a keyhole or something. So I don't really like it. I'm just gonna control backspace. I'm gonna do only extrude this one, this half. So if you wanna extrude without using anything, you can click on a face. Yeah, face. Okay, click on face. And use W. That is okay. And then use Shift. And you see there's a, when I click shift, it says extrude, yes, sticky keys. it says extrude, see, and if I hold shift and move it, voila, you, you need to practice, so you just need to open the mic, once it, this is done, and try to experiment on a box or something. Just you know, use multi cut, use different. different multi cut. Yeah, all these here. You have multi cuts. You have bevel. You have extrude. Um, uh, we ha we haven't touched bridge, but I can show you. Control one. Oh yeah, so I need to mirror it on the other side, right? Because. That's the thing I haven't done. I need to mirror this side on this side. So let's just do that. Oh. Yeah. This is uh, Lucien. I have a question. Where is the shortcut for um, shrink and enlarge? Uh, like F? What, what do you mean enlarge? Like going zooming in or? Scaling? Or, um, Scaling. Like when I click on one of the faces i want to um uh, enlarge, enlarge or shrink it do i have to exclude that okay so you say you want to select a face like this yeah? yes and you want to extrude it right i extruded it yeah but now you just need to use offset offset okay i see yeah or then you have these boxes the red the green and the blue one and you can just pull from the boxes, not from the arrows, and that's gonna scale in no. those in those directions. That's scale. Okay, I see. Okay. Scale. Yeah, thank you. So it's either offset or. So let me just mirror this on the other side. I said I use W, yeah. So now I'm in X uh, plus X. That's plus X towards minus. So shift right click mirror x towards minus okay. so now we see that's perfect i'm going to use mesh threshold to one sometimes mesh threshold is just going to measure the border vertices in the middle so if i go back yeah so let's just go here what have i done oh no okay here so shift right click Actually, let me just save it. 
control s to save yeah or you can just go file save save scene as and just increment save um, basically you don't want to save on top of the other one because you just need to have a couple of versions so file like i said mirror x and mesh border towards minus and this mesh border if you don't merge it do not merge borders if i say do not merge border look what's going to happen i select one of these uh, vertices in the middle and i use w and it's a hole you see it's like oh. yeah you Oops. see it's kind of open so that's bad so let me just select everything all the vertices Oops. and now shift right click merge vertices and merge vertices and this is going to be the distance threshold that's going to be one centimeter if they're one centimeter close they're going to be merged if they're less if they're more than one centimeter they're not going to be merged yeah so that's so you see what happened here yeah because there there were one centimeter look here in the middle enter they, they got merged right so you don't want that sometimes you want point 0.1 yeah and that's it and now if you try to open this like it did yeah um, they're all merged and they're fine and now both sides they're good i think it's very important to be efficient like there there are many people who model out there there are many hard surface modelers but they're not efficient like what do you mean that it's just that try to be fast try to have to cl a clean topology and this is very very important being fast and um, <coughs> keeping keeping that geometry clean so i think we're pre almost there um maybe i don't know what else we should add no, one of the mistakes actually is whilst in university you're very relaxed with your work you know working slowly making sure it looks perfect yeah uh but when you go straight into the industry they're going to be like you yeah, finish this in one week either done by the end of the week and you're going to struggle you're going to struggle at the beginning for sure if you're not used to it like i did i was i was creating a variety of characters and they asked me to do it once a week okay. and i just yeah like one full sculpted character uv and everything hmm. and I, I couldn't cope at all but after a while it's it got got manageable keep working keep working for speed even though it doesn't look beautiful as you want it okay so let's see what what else we can do here maybe we can select this edge just double click on it and you see because i have these nice edges here yeah i made these edges i'm going to delete um one of them two of them control backspace and now i'm going to try and double click again and what look what happened nothing happening nothing is happening yeah because they're not it doesn't say it doesn't like the topology i can it's it's going to be good here but when we get here with these two missing ones it's going to say hey i don't know what's happening here i don't know where to go so that's why we need to use this multi-cut yeah and fix you know fix the topology have it nice shift right click bevel the edge Okay, that's, that's quite good. And maybe here, up here, maybe I would like to add something, but I don't know what exactly, because I think it's too empty. I'm just gonna make a cube and move it up, scale it, use the R, R to scale, yeah, R is scaling. Oh no. Beware the beast. <laughs> Delusion's dog. Yeah. It's like a very small dog, but has a very big mouth. <laughs> it needs to compensate. It tries to compensate with. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna make a something here. sure what this is supposed to be but I'm trying to find um, something to be like oh I think I know so this is like an access hatch right you just open it and here is like um, like a panel where you have battery charge or like you know this this is like a container that holds um, I don't know organs or something and it, it needs to be connected to a power source or something like that in order to keep it cold or freezing or whatever so uh, let's just make it here like um, so let's just go to last poly bevel and I'm gonna add one more segment oh, I don't like it doesn't like it I think I just uh, scale it and did some nasty things I'm gonna delete it and make another one or uh, um, I think I have a better idea. Let's just select all these faces. Yeah, so select these faces. And oh no, just these two actually. So just select these two faces, shift right click, and <coughs> duplicate face. And then we can offset them a little bit. And they're perfect. Go to Thank you. Oh yeah, select some faces and you can duplicate those faces, right? Delete the history on both of them. And then shift right click extrude and it's gonna give it some volume. Select these two edges, bevel. <coughs> now I'm gonna move them all the way here. Here I'm going to make a hole, a plug, like a you know hole to plug uh, power or something. Control one. I'm going to delete the bottom because remember we don't need any unnecessary polygons. And even these two, this line in the middle is not required. It doesn't hold the shape or anything. So control backspace. Control backspace is del deletes with vertices. If I press delete, look what happens. I'm I'm still getting vertices in the middle. Let's see how the OBS is. We get another 37 minutes. I'm gonna stop recording and. <laughs>